Elon Musk's 57-page proof of concept for the alpha build of Hyperloop is out. We know all about its powerful air processors, solar panels, pressurized tube, linear induction motors, all that fun stuff. But um, we get that it could work, but would it actually work? Would it ever be implemented as um, public transportation? And right now it looks like maybe not. I mean, money can only take you so far. Yeah, the, the tragedy of this whole situation is that on paper it is a much better idea than what they've got, than what we have, than the yes. dismal state of public transportation in Well, the uh, California high-speed rail would be about, what, $70 billion? Yep. And this uh, projected is $6 billion, which is great, but it, there's a lot of variables that w weren't really accounted for. But there are things that would be needed like a regulatory committee. There needs to be someone to be able to put safety accounts into check like they do right now with uh, airliners and, and normal trains. And there would need to be an amount of public support behind it. Yeah, right now, for whatever reason, to people it seems futuristic. Mm -hmm. Even though all these technologies are like tried and tested and work and you know, absolutely nothing here is like. You mean the the Hyperloop? Yeah. It's not tried and tested yet. All the f all the all the mechanics of it, all the all the engineering. It's it, these well, are it's real. Still just the alpha these, build. But these are real technologies. Elon Musk didn't invent anything new, so the alpha so that the Hyperloop can work. He just combined existing technologies into this new form of transportation. Yeah, but we can't say that you know that it works yet because people have already said, oh well, this is going to be much hotter than you thought. The well, all the, all the components of it are real. We're not waiting for new futuristic technology. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people think that we are with a name like Hyperloop. And it's with, a great name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it feels like the future because people think about tube technology that we've seen in mm -hmm. sci-fi movies. And this is not exactly that. This is a new type of train. Right. Which could work and is cheaper. Um, but it still doesn't have that public support. To well, is it also an answer to a question that no one really or an answer to a problem that no one really had, which was we need a really fast way from San Francisco to Los Angeles. I mean, it would account for, I believe, 280,000 people per day could, could take the, the hyperloop between those two uh, points. But is that something that people really want? Well, here, even if or this- Or need? Even if it's not a problem that people have, mm -hmm. it's a better solution than the solution we've already decided to build. Agreed. So we're gonna spend $70 billion for the same non-issue. Mm -hmm. We might as well only spend $6 billion for a better idea. Granted, it's still never gonna happen. Fair point, and fair point. Um, also something I was wondering about, what if someone has to pee while they're taking the Hyperloop? It only takes a half an hour. Some people have emergencies. <laughs> there, I did read a bulk of this, despite my best efforts, I did read quite a bit of that PDF. I did and too. And there's all kinds of safety issues, there's all kinds of plans. Basically, they say if any emergencies happen, if like if someone has a heart attack or mm -hmm. if you know something bad goes wrong, it's safer to just let the train car get to where it's going, where emergency service is going to be waiting, mm -hmm. rather than try to slow it down faster and get it off mid-trip, which mm -hmm. would be very complicated. Because it's such a short trip, it's easier to just finish it. I think they would need to get public support behind it, and people are still like, it's kind of an unknown quantity. Um, this goes back to, I believe, a Florida, the Florida high-speed corridor, which was turned down, and the governor didn't accept the money that was granted to it. So we need to get all those people in like public positions behind this. Can we do that? I think it Can might Musk do that. I think it might have worked if Musk was going forward with this plan himself. If he said, like he, I want to do this, I want to use government plans to do this, I'm going to take the reins and make this happen, but he's not. He just said, you know, here's the idea, somebody go do it. Mm -hmm. And you don't have that, that we need cult to get of personality that, yeah. to pick it up and run with it. There needs to be a lot of people behind it, or like you said, a cult of personality kind of pushing it. And that hasn't happened yet. Uh, this has led some people to wonder if Musk ever meant to do anything with this at all, or if this is to build up his own brand. It's, what do you think? It's all it speculation, It seems such obviously. a silly idea to have such a good idea mm -hmm. to use as a marketing tool for something else. Yeah. Like, he could have just come out with a sex tape. Yeah, no. Um, so, Hyperloop could work, but will it work? We still don't know. I would say right now, no. And that's kind of sad. Oh, I'll say yes, then. Yay!